It felt like an injustice to some in Ottawa in November after a man accused of first degree murder walked free. His trial was called off because of a nearly four year wait. We got punished for the loss of my child and now I'm being punished by the system. In Montreal, a woman who says she was sexually abused hundreds of times by her stepfather watched him walk free in April because of a five-year wait for trial. C'est comme si, mais c'est pas grave qui vous a abusé. On s'en fout. They are some of the results of what's known as the Supreme Court's Jordan ruling. And today, in a unanimous decision, the court stood its ground, keeping to its maximum time limits for a trial, 18 months for provincial courts, 30 for superior court. Jordan is a, a game changer. When the system shifts gears, there are going to be casualties. Michael Crystal is a lawyer for the man at the center of today's appeal. James Cody, he was facing drugs and weapons charges. His trial was expected to take just five days, but five years after he was charged, it still hadn't begun. This case is all about access to justice. It is about the dignity of a trial. Some have talked about the potential for thousands of cases to be thrown out because of the Jordan ruling. One review shows the actual number has been much smaller, but even a few high-profile cases can shake Canadians' faith in their justice system. You know, the court clearly doubling down on Jordan and making it clear that it's not going anywhere. And that Eric Guittardi represented Barrett Jordan, the man accused of drug dealing whose case gave rise to the Jordan decision. The blame shouldn't be pointed at the system per se. It should be pointed at the government and, you know, the, the fact that the system has been underfunded across the board. But what makes the Prime Minister says officials are taking the situation seriously. It is part of what has become uh, a bit of a troubling pattern. Uh, and we need to make sure that uh, we are working hard to ensure that justice is uh, swift and uh, properly meted out. He notes federal and provincial justice ministers are looking at solutions. That includes issues like faster bail hearings, preliminary inquiries and reclassifying some offences. The opposition said today it wants the government to hurry up and nominate more judges, something the prime minister says they're working very hard to do. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Ottawa.